Right, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, the Hoxton Trend. Gang, gang. Right, gang, what I thought I'd do today is a real quick video for you guys, and I'm gonna do some real action-packed stuff. Okay, maybe not action-packed stuff. So yeah, what I did is, I obviously I jumped over to Copenhagen and I brought this top with me. It's this Marshall Artist hoodie right here. You can see I got this hoodie from Marshall Artist. I actually got this jumper when I used to work in Selfridges back in the day. It was probably around 2005, 2004, something like that. So it's quite an old piece. And I haven't really worn it since. Sometimes I just bring them out like, after a couple of years. I like, I like doing that. But yeah, I brought this jumper out for Copenhagen and I didn't even look at it properly. I just kind of dashed it in the bag. And when I got to Copenhagen, I took the jumper out and I realized how badly bobbled it was, man. And I thought, I can't even wear this jumper, it looks so bad. So I said, when I get back to London, I've got to get this jumper looking super fresh and super new again. And all you need is two things, bam. And I've also got right here, I've got a lint roller as well. Guys, all the links for these two tools will be down in the description box below. So if you want to get that, those things, you can. It's really cheap. Both of those together will cost maybe like less than 10 or 11 pounds, but I will put the links on the links box below, okay? So that's it, man. Let's look at this jumper in more detail. Let's see if we can get it looking more fresh, okay? Two seconds. Okay, chap, so this is the jumper right here, Marshall Artist. I think this jumper retailed for like 18, 90 pounds. It's a wool jumper. And the thing about wool is if you don't kind of tend to it and look after it every so often, it does bubble quite badly, especially if you're wearing jackets over it and stuff like that. So you can see some of the bubble in there, it's really bad. I couldn't even wear this top when I was over in um, Copenhagen that it was that bad. So the two tools that we need is one is this one here, it's a D bobbler. I've showed you this before when I was doing, um, I think it was a Stone Island, my first Stone Island night review. It's such a useful tool, I use it all the time. And the second thing I would suggest to, is to get is a simple lint roller. Now both of these items are really cheap, but you can do some amazing things with them, okay? We're gonna get into it, and we're gonna try and make this jumper look really, really fresh. So the first, first thing I would recommend for you guys to do is to find a flat surface. Now, if you can use a table, it will be even better. And the reason for that is when you're rubbing over it with the uh, with the tool, that it's gonna press down and it can't bend into the surface. It has to stay firm. So if you do it on a bed, it might not be as effective. But if a bed is all you've got, if that's all the room that you've got, then use the bed. So what we do, it does take time, but what you do is you just kind of go over it really slowly, just like that. Now, don't get me wrong, this will take a little while. So what I'll do is I'll just keep going and I'll show you the results in just a second, okay? So as you can see, I'm still bobbling the jumper. It's probably been about three, four minutes now. It's starting to look a little bit better, but there's still a lot of work to do. What I find is if you kind of go through some parts really slowly like that, it really takes time and it kind of shears off the extra bit of fabric that's coming off the bobbling bit. It shears it off if you do it a little bit slowly. Just to give you a kind of indication of how much wool I've taken off the jumper. Look at all that. That's all from the jumper. Well, except for this little red bit here. That's when I bubbled something before. So there's tons in there, yo. Right, chaps. It's literally been about maybe 14, 15 minutes now that I've been doing this. And the front of the jumper is looking so much more better. It's not, it's not 100% looking super fresh but on a real it's looking like 90 percent man so look i'm not going to do the whole jumper now i'm going to do it later i just wanted to kind of show you what you can do the second thing to do is just grab our lint, lint, lint roller and just roll over it man literally just roll over it just roll over it like that and that will pick up any little marks any little any little dust specks that are just making it look a bit funny so that's one side now you can see it's picked up quite a lot of um fabric there so what you can do with the lint roller is you can just take this take one layer off that's just one layer of the lint roller and we're gonna do it one more time okay just to make sure we pick up any bits that we didn't uh that we didn't couldn't pick up before guys that is it i'm done now the good thing about it is that when i lint rollered it brought any excess fabric or any little bits of the um, bubble that was still there it kind of brought it up because obviously this is sticky so it makes it go up a little bit so then when i when i lint roller it again it's going to get rid of those last little bits that are picking up so let's just have a look a little bit more closely at the quality so we can see so look at it now look look at the difference 
you can see as compared to before, it's so much more better. Just to give you an indication of how it was before, look at the back of this arm, look how bad the bubbling was. That's how the front was. The front was just like that, it was really bad. So that's it, man. That's it, that is my martial artist jumper. I really, really like this piece as well. And the fact that it's got like a sulfur in the back and I just always thought that was kind of cool. So just get yourself a debubbler and that's it, man. I'm gonna put all the links for this stuff on the description box below. I've got lots more videos coming showing you guys how to keep your items nice, tidy and fresh, okay? So that's it, yo. I'm gonna catch you in a bit. Peace out.